Hey everybody, uh, today I have a really cool video for you. So uh, today I just got in the mail a really cool Russian Yak-3 Soviet fighter model. And uh, if you have not known yet, I really like making different models, especially like war models. And uh, since I speak Russian, I could do Russian models, which are pretty cool also. So uh, let's start. It's going to be an unboxing and hopefully I'll be able to build a model also. Okay, so the uh, Yak-3 Soviet fighter was uh, first built in 1943. Um, it's called the Yakovlev, that's the full name. And it was first used by the Soviet army and then later by the um, French uh, Normandy uh, Nyaman army. Uh, the French ace called Marcel Albert really liked this plane, calling it his favorite plane. And uh, many people compared this plane to the US uh, P-51D Mustang. So. Let's get right into the unboxing. Alright, so part of it's going to be in Russian, part of it's going to be in English. As you can see, the bottom's in Russian, top's in English. So, um, looks like this. It says right here that I don't need glue needed, that I don't have need to have glue needed, but just in case, I have my uh, tester's glue. And I have paint to paint this if it's paintable. And um, it has 43 pieces, that's the finished product, unpainted, what it should look like. Hopefully that's what we'll get. And uh, there's two decals. There's one of them. That one is the one for um, Marcel Albert, which I told you earlier, which was a French ace. And then this one's uh, a Russian lieutenant. So, okay, let's open it up and see what it is. All right, so I took out all my stuff that I need for my uh, building, and uh, let's open this up. So, I'm just going to use my special, amazing, awesome knife that I got for specifically for modeling. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay. It's pretty cool. So the actual model comes in plastic with uh, decals, which you just apply water and they stick on. And the instructions. So let's see if the instructions are mostly in Russian or in English. Hopefully they're partially in English. But I can read Russian also, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so it is in Russian and English, but mostly Russian. So I'm not going to be showing you the rules mostly because most people can't read Russian, except for me, unless you're from Russia. Okay, so I'm going to start building this and I'll uh, time lapse, I guess. So uh, let's go. I started doing the model already, uh, well, at least spraying it up. And I just thought that I should probably show you the equipment that I have. So most of this, most of this equipment won't be used for this one because this is an easy one without glue. But when you use glue, I have all kinds of different things. I have normal glue, I have the um, special liquid cement, which is really useful for some tanks I use. Then I have the um, unliquid cement, it's a lot more like thicker. I have lots of different paints. Thinner, these are my special tweezers for pulling out the pieces. Uh, my scalpel knife, and well, oh paintbrushes and a lot of other stuff so okay here we go with continuing with the <clears throat> okay I'm starting to make the uh, main frame of the plane so I got this part already assembled and I'm adding in the bottom piece which should just fit in like this which is pretty easy because there's no glue so it just fits in perfectly right in there and all you have to do is you just have to slap uh, snap it in like this Boom. We're done with that part. Okay, so now there's gonna be a lot of uh, little machinery parts and I'll be back for the next big part. to do now is instead of continuing on with this what will be easier right now is I'm going to be painting all the pieces by their piece color as it says right here so uh, that's what you're going to be seeing me doing right now in time lapse because um, I was supposed to be building but I've been painting lately um, so yeah I'll continue with my painting
Alright, so I finished painting all the inside pieces that we're going to be showing for the different machinery. Uh, there are some pieces that I didn't paint because those are going to be inside and they're not really going to be visible. Or I'm going to paint over them at the real end while I'm deciding which pattern I want to do for my planes. So um, now I'm going to continue with stop motion, but this time you're going to be able to see me actually continue building like I started here. Alright, here we go. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but um, all this time, all that I've made so far is just a tiny little area right now, which if you can see is the gas pedals and part of the steering wheel. Yeah, there's a lot of tiny little pieces and they take forever to glue in. Even though it says no glue, it still needs glue. So um, we're going to continue making the dashboard now, which is right there. Alright, so it's getting dark outside, so um, I think it's time for me to wrap up for today. But uh, this is how much progress we have had so far. I have finished the whole inside of the cabin with the pilot, um, dashboard, his chair, the table behind him. Uh, you can't see, but under there like the pedals and um, all the other stuff. And I'm going to be starting on the outside of the plane later. Hope either uh, in the same video, but uh, I'm going to fast forward to tomorrow, or I'm going to make another video labeled part two with me finishing up the plane, but this is the hardest part. So okay, um, if this is the end of part one, don't forget to subscribe, like, tell your friends about my channel, um, tell me if you're interested in more model videos or more gaming videos or uh, cooking, whatever is the most interesting for you, and um, okay. Thanks for watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and okay, bye.